with Machine Gun Kelly, <laughs> aka Colson Baker, going to be debuting some brand new music for you tonight. Um, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. Likewise. I like you Thank so you. much. Thank you. I do. I do. I like you a lot. Shall I tell you why? And you've all, we've always got on, but I want to thank you for this with my oh. dad. Malcolm at the and Marge. Ma Malcolm, Malcolm and Marge. Marge. Look at this. I call her Marge because we're on a, on a nickname basis. But yeah, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that's just on the WhatsApp mm -hmm. chat, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you, I think my dad loves you more than he loves me. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not even joking. He came back. My dad was like, that machine gun Kelly. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Thank you for being so... You oh, got yeah. him drunk, you were giving him liquor. Yeah, he, yeah. He texted me tonight saying, hey, send him my love and ask him when he needs me on tour for the saxophone. <laughs> when do you want him to join you? Uh, we're going to... We're doing Lollapalooza down in South America. I could use a sax player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he would legitimately do it. He would legitimately do it. He couldn't stop talking about how incredibly kind and generous and amazing you are. So I want to thank you for oh, that. Oh, thank you. For being yeah, so yeah. welcoming yeah. to him. Now, look, a lot's been going on since you were last on the show. You are now uh, engaged. Yes. You are an engaged man. How does this feel? you feel any different being a fiancé? I, I, you know what? I can't figure out. They said that we're, we're both fiancés, but we have, like, a different thing over our E. That's right. Which, that's which, true. Which thing am I? You're, the... Just, you're the one that's just, like, fiance with oh, a I'm one just E. A, I'm just an E and without the... And I think the... it's the two E's, is the fiancé. Okay. But does it feel good? you feel happy? When do you think you're going to get married? Um, when they can build me, like, a red river with, like, gothic... <laughs> the location is hard, trying to find... Yeah, <laughs> but try, trying to find a spot that's matching my artistic... I love this. Right? I love the idea of a red river in a mm. gothic setting. It'd be amazing. Mm. Now, let's talk about the new album. Uh, the new album's coming out, produced by Travis Barker, who we, uh, we absolutely love here on the show. But is this true that you... You both got... Talk to me about this tattoo situation. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> we, you know, we... I changed my... Um, opinions about things a lot and like I shouldn't have included him in my <laughs> uh, f initial opinion before it was released and then right. I was like we got to change it up and so I changed the So I you both went and got mm -hmm. the album mm -hmm. title tattooed and then I changed it to mainstream sellout and then I changed it again like five minutes ago when I was in the dressing room and I was like I just love the way you talk and I was just like, I think I'm gonna call it the I Wish I Was British album. You think, well, you, hang on. You think that's what you might change it to now? So... I prefer mainstream sellout, I do. But I do think this will do very well in Britain for I you. I think so too, and I don't think I've ever had a number one there, so I think I'm just gonna go straight for the Over the Pond demo and, and just... Uh... I Wish I Was British. I would love... Where would you get this tattooed? Where would we go with this? Um, there's the, not a lot of space yeah, left. Yeah, the only space left is like... Places you can't say on TV. My butt cheek, I can say that. <laughs> Having that, I wish I was British. On my butt, it might. I think I, it, your country might not take that so, <laughs> so, so well. If you name the album this, and you get that tattooed, then I'll get I wish I was American tattooed in the same cool, place. Cool, cool. Okay? okay. But you can't change it after that. You can't change it. Now, let's talk about the new single. The new single's e Emo Girl. Mm -hmm. uh, it features Willow, how, who we absolutely love. How did that... Um, how did this collaboration come about? That was cool, cos I, uh... I was in my coffee shop in Cleveland, and we were... It was, like, after hours, and we were just playing songs from the new album on the speakers, and I went up to my daughter's friends, and I was like, who do you guys want to listen to? And they were like, Willow. And I was like, that's cool. Yeah. And... <laughs> Uh, and I put I put on her music and um, I already liked her music and then I love like she did the uh, she did Transparent Soul with Travis and mm. then I was just I, I, it's it's there's a cool story behind Emo Girl like it was it was a two it was a twofer it was like Emo Girl and Emo Boy and she was like I'm in love with an Emo Girl too and I was like that's so cool and then we <laughs> yeah and then we just did the song like that so. Um, uh, it, yeah, and then I, I 
people don't know, I wrote my verse about Jennifer Check from Jennifer's Body. So like that, like that's just a little like over the head thing that people didn't pick up on. So like if you go listen to the verse again, it like correlates with the movie, like whatever goes like this. Well, like two sets of fingers. Uh, like, like two sets, two of, sets fingers. of fingers. Yes, it yes, goes yes. with two sets of fingers. Yeah. Well, we cannot wait for the performance. Thank you for being here. We love Thank it you. every time you stop Thank by. You. Stick around. Machine Gun Kelly and Willow are going to perform right here when we come back. Come on back, everybody.